Hi guys, welcome to another video. I, f I was going to go to like loads of B&M's today, couldn't find any of the new Doctor Who sets, that was just disappointing, but I did come to this toy shop, I forgot what it's called, um, I forgot what it's called, but anyway, they got loads of McFarlane figures, I mean loads, and really nice ones I've never seen before, like this, um, um, what was it? Got what game? Arkham Asylum Batman. He actually won. This is one, and him and the Joker are ones I wasn't too bothered about online. Um, but now I see them in person, they actually look really nice. I'm not sure if I'll pick one up, but they do look really nice, especially that Joker one. I would get this right away, except I've never been a big fan of that head. It looks a bit average to me, but it looks really, really cool in person. They've got um, a few one that you see at being in all the time. They also have, let's see, oh god, they got a blue variant. Oh, I can, don't, not, not, not that, not, not that over. Um, um, they got the blue variant of this Batman. This is one that looks a bit odd in blue, to be honest. But still pretty cool. And I think that's really it for all the new ones I haven't seen in store, except from, um, they got the Harley Quinn. She looks quite cool, actually. Yeah, I'll get her out if I can't, if I can imagine not to knock everything over in the process. Uh, there we go. Anyway, she looks actually pretty cool. Um, this says from the comics, but she doesn't look like the comic one at all. She looks like the animated series one. It's a bit odd. So if I got her, I'd probably put her with animated series figures, which I have a few of. I actually missed missing the Batman from DC Collectibles though. But anyway, this is actually really cool. They got Superman, a few others, but that is really it for the McFarlane figures. Really cool to um, see them here. I might get one. They're a bit expensive, um, like the Joker, I want to get him, but he's 20 instead of 15. But it's still pretty cool. Okay, right next door in their Black Series section, well, very small Black Series section, they do have one of the new Darth Vader's and Luke Skywalker's over there that looks a bit a bit weird to me, that, that face sculpt. Um, but they do have the Mandalorian Baby Yoda, which looks really nice, £10, which is a bit steep for this such tiny thing. If I had the Mandalorian, already and it's, it's not here it's a bit sad but um if i had it already i'd get it right away but right now i'm not sure for that fact that they've got loads of them there 10.99 i mean a bit steep for that small thing okay i was about to leave but i found this massive funko pop wall i'm just gonna go back so i can get that as like my thumbnail look at that that is absolutely massive there's some um pretty most of the stuff i'm not really bothered by but there are a few cool things here for instance, um, they do have the new Mandalorian Big Funko Pop, which I was going to get while well, I was thinking about getting, and same with the Baby Yoda, except I am getting a um, the one of the Batman McFarlane figures anyway. This one is really nice. If I had to get, if I had to decide between this one and the big one, I I might actually get this one. I I really like that one. God, <laughs> frozen. Um, more Baby Yoda stuff. Oh, they got Jack Skellington just watched um my um like before christmas again which is just sort of like one of my favorite ever christmas movies and anyway i think that is all it is really today i'm bothered by i have um wonder woman um 84 there some, some stuff for that movie which is cool and that's about it okay then this is what i got from the toy shop i got the dc multiverse um arkham asylum batman looks really nice it's actually not one I was thinking about get picking up when I saw the promo images, um, but now I see it in person, I just really like it. Same with the Joker, but um, that was £5 more, and I was already getting this, so I thought I'd probably get another time. It's one that you can easily get online for about that price anyway, so that's fine. Um, I still don't know if I'll probably get something over that Joker anyway. But anyway, I also got these from B&M, which... If you see, I have opened the top, but I haven't actually looked inside yet. I thought this I'd do this on video. I'll move this guy to the side. He might. I might start reviewing DC Multiverse figures after after I actually find the new wave of Doctor Who figures. So there we go. Anyway, so I don't know what's in these. I have checked the back though, and I can feel. I could, I'll try to feel what's inside, but there's actually sort of a cardboard thing in there, so I can't can't feel. But anyway, there's this one that is like a really classic Batman. There's mystery villain, which I'm hoping I will get. I really want, like, Joker or something. I don't know if he's there. This is the Batman I want the most. You, if you can see that, the lighting's a bit rubbish because the sun's gone down. But he is really cool. Um, this guy, who also looks really cool, would probably be the second one I want. Um, Robin also looks quite nice. Um, I hope I don't get him first, though. I, uh, if I get him, I don't want two of him. I want at least a Batman if I get him. Not a big fan of this guy. He looks a 
bit of a weird pose. Um, and that's really it. But um, let's open these up. So I have I did try and open these with scissors. Then realised um afterwards that there was um a tear thing on the side. So I opened one with a tear. Um, that's why I didn't do it on video. I didn't want to like muddle it up. Uh, oh, and it's the one I want. Oh, oh, that actually looks really nice. That um these are like I'm um, I'm pretty sure these were the big statues that are like well bigger than this, than this camera could see. Um. But then they scaled them down to put them in these little packs. They were three pounds each from B and M. I mean, that is, that is really good. Um, this is a wave two. I don't know. I didn't even know there was a wave one to be honest. Um, they're really nice. These are DC collectibles. Well, I think I've gone out of business now. So that's really sad since like a lot of my DC, most of my DC figures are from them. But this looks really nice. It's hard to see in the lighting I have. Um, wait. There we go. I've got a light. They can give you a better look probably. And yeah, completely black and white, but really nice. Really nice. I love all details on the cape and stuff. His ears look a bit, maybe a bit too round, but otherwise it looks really nice. Um, put them to the back. That's one done. Um, hopefully this is a Robin or a um, villain. That's what I'm hoping for at least. And there we go. Oh, oh, it's the, it's the one I didn't want that much. Um, the one that's a bit of a weird pose. Okay, there he is. Um, actually now I see him in person. Wait. Um, Reference picture. There's the reference picture. He actually looks... He looks better in person than in the picture. His face looks really nice, and his ears are a bit more pointed than the other one, which is good. Get some light on him. Um, So that's really nice. I really like his bat emblem, but this pose still just looks a bit odd. I'm not sure. Is that some weird bat Because it is very long and spiky. Um, Anyway, still, I still think that's good. It will look good on um, my Batman shelf. And my Batman and Superman shelf, technically, because I have two Superman figures. Yay. Um, might do a review on some of these um, um, multiverse figures. But these are really nice. I think if I go to B&M, I'll, um, I'll buy a few more of these. Hopefully, I'll, I'll probably get doubles, but hopefully I don't. I really want to... I actually, I think the one I want the most now is either a secret villain or a Robin. Anyway, they're really nice. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like, subscribe. Um, more videos and figure searching. And hopefully a few more reviews when I have time coming soon. And I'll see you next late, later. Bye.